Hi, my name is Tyron Selman. I'm the owner of Art Eye Gallery in Johannesburg. Uh, we're a vibrant contemporary African art space that um, is about building long-term relationships with clients and artists, um, telling stories from our homeland. I certainly think that we travel extensively um, and I certainly would say that we are better than a lot of the places in the world. South Africa, because of its multicultural makeup, um, is so diverse and so brave and so able to connect on a spiritual level more than it is on um, an artistic level. Um, art has is, is, is got very many facets and I certainly think that South Africa has one of the strongest base of artists I've ever seen in the world. You know, people come to this country expecting it to be like Europe, and yet the reason people keep on coming back to South Africa is that it is energy. It's just pure ball of energy. Visual arts, a picture tells a thousand words. So whether it's screen or whether it's video or dance or imagery, it's all very much the same. I think that when we stop trying to please the rest of the world and we start telling our own stories, I think that the world is sitting, starting to sit up and take notice. Um, we're a great place for the birth of artistic energy. Um, when I started in this industry, I expected to be um, tailoring ourselves to meet an international market. And I think that what has happened is different, is that the international market has to change the way they think and start engaging with us the way that we are. Um, I often say to artists that when you've reached a level of success is how people respond in front of your work. I've had the most unlikely uh, clients burst into tears in front of artists' work. I've had um, them cherish work tremendously. We do have a handful of top selling artists, but art can often be very fashionable and whoever's in fashion at that point in time sells more, but it goes in waves. Um, we certainly have realized that long-term repetition of telling the same story instead of changing it to address the market, the market eventually stops long enough to listen and learn.